I'm going to show you exactly how I would land my first AI automation client in just 30 days if I had to start over completely from scratch today. I've built a top rated Upwork profile and generated over $50,000 selling AI automation solutions to businesses, all without writing a single line of code. And I did this as someone with a minimal technical background when I started. And the truth is, most people trying to get into AI automation services make the same painful mistakes that I made. They spend months learning every new feature, watching every YouTube video, chasing shiny tools, and ultimately struggling to find paying clients. I made all of those mistakes when I started, but today I'll share my exact four-step blueprint that would let me land high paying clients twice as fast today if I had to start over. This is the step-by-step -step plan that I wish someone had given me. So let's get started straight away with step one, which is all about mastering the right skills. So this may sound completely obvious in hindsight, but actually a lot of YouTubers and community owners often preach that you don't need to understand and be able to build that many AI automations, but I strongly disagree with that statement and sentiment I actually uh, distill this into the 80 20 which is you need to understand the 20 percent of nan or make.com or zapier whatever your chosen automation platform is and be able to master those fundamentals very quickly in order to be able to then expand that and build out any ai automation so when once you're equipped with these foundations you'll be able to build out any ai automation and break down any client problem so learn the 80 20 and you can do this through watching free youtube videos like my nine hour full course on building and selling nan ai agents for business you could watch certain YouTube videos like my 8020, which literally teaches the fundamentals and the top 20% you need to know of NAN, including all of the different nodes. Or you could go to YouTube and watch any of these other content creators. You don't need to look at my videos specifically. We've got a bunch here, but also a ton of YouTube content that's free out there that you can use to learn the 8020 of NAN. So you fundamentally need to understand how to build out AI automation workflows or how to break down client problems into certain flows and understand what the solution might look like. You could also fast track this by joining a school community. I have my own, which is school.com slash scrapes. And you can actually learn a specific roadmap designed to focus specifically on business use cases, practice integrations. So actually have practical step-by-step -step walkthroughs. And something like this will give you an advantage over YouTube content because it gives you the exact journey you need to follow to get from zero to mastery. So you'll go through things like understanding how to connect to external data using APIs. You'll actually put those into practice. You'll then move on to actually breaking down client issues or client problems into workflows and how you can go from a client scope of work into an actual workflow and then some more advanced concepts like AI agents and RAG if you wanted to specialize and go down that route as well. So the first key step would just be mastering the skills and like I said you can do that in a variety of ways but this is really critical and a lot of people think that you can skip this step but what this step allows you to do is have full confidence in your own abilities when you move on to the later stages and you start pitching clients that you will actually be able to solve their problems and that will give you a few things. The first thing it will take you away from the imposter syndrome so you'll actually believe that you'll be able to tackle the problem and therefore the client will also believe that you will be the right person to tackle that problem as well. So we're going to move on to step two of the framework, which is all about building a portfolio out. So my biggest tip here is don't overthink this. From my experience as a community owner, I've seen a lot of people go through the process of actually building out their portfolio of automations. And there's a few key ways that you can do this really easily and understand what clients are actually looking for. And I advise just basically looking at the demand for certain automations and actually using those as a basis to building out a portfolio. And when I say portfolio, I'm effectively referring to inside your Upwork profile. You can see my profile here. Inside that profile, actually having a portfolio of previously built automations. Now, these don't have to be automations that you've built for previous clients. These could be demonstration automations that you've built for yourself and tested. But one of the key things here is actually working out what you need to build in the first place. So I would actually just go to Upwork to understand what client demand is. Or we also had Eduardo in our community post this really interesting Google Doc about the state of automation and the state of Upwork AI automation jobs, which gives a really clear idea of what clients are actually asking for. So for example, we've got the most common automation problems. 52% of jobs are actually asking and referencing Zapier, whereas 31% are referencing NAN, and that will keep shifting over time. This one I found really interesting. The most common applications mentioned were Go High Level by a long way, Google Sheets, Airtable, Slack, and Notion. And then lower down, we have HubSpot, Stripe, Shopify, Google Ads, etc. So if I were to start again and build out some of these, I would actually focus on the top five here. I already know Airtable and Google Sheets. Slack's fairly easy once you understand how to integrate with it and Notion. And then I'd actually just focus my portfolio around Go High Level, Google Sheets, Airtable, Slack, and Notion. Because if the majority of people are requesting jobs on Upwork around those pieces of software, then it's going to set me up really well when I start applying to those jobs. And you can actually just go into Upwork and just go to on your profile, find work. And actually, if we just say Go High Level Automation or Google Sheets Automation, etc., we can actually go through any of these and understand from the scope of work what people 
are actually requesting. And I would then base my portfolio on that. And that comes to our second point, which is actually building around business focused workflows and also naming them in a way that conveys a business output. So what I mean by this is if you look at my profile here, these are some very old examples of where I did exactly the same. I looked at the demand and I built out some workflows. But you can see in the way I've named them, they're very intuitive to somebody that would be non-technical. So blog content research and writing. So this is an AI workflow that writes blog content and also does the research for citations, etc. Scrape web page links and content. So I actually built an automation that goes out and scrape web pages. Create a Slack bot AI agent that responds to user questions. So just some simple naming conventions here convey the value that this would give to a business rather than the technical output. So every business could relate to the fact that this could create their blog content for their SEO articles, for example. So make sure that all of your portfolio builds are business focused once you understand which ones you want to build out. And if you're struggling for ideas still, you can always rebuild what's already been taught. So if you go through a program in a community, for example, in the scrapes.ai community, you'd have access to this AI automation masterclass where you build out a series of automations that you'd use. But also inside the resource hub, you have all sorts of templates around sales, operations, and marketing that you could use on your portfolio as long as you understand how these, as long as you understand how these automations work, you can actually then take those ad and adapt them to a client use case and showcase them on your portfolio. So the key steps here are don't overthink it. Stop worrying about exactly what to build and just go and see what demand there is for certain applications and then rebuild from there. And if you really can't find many and just rebuild, rebuild by going through a program that shows you how to build out different automations. So once you have a portfolio built, which if you go through step one and master the AI fundamentals through a roadmap, you'll probably have built out a few different use cases. You can showcase on those on your profile. You then jump to actually building out a standout profile. Now, building out a standout profile is something that we cover in much more detail inside the agency launch pad, where we go through your product offering, how to pitch yourself, how to land your first client. But I've got an example here of a community member who's built out his profile exactly, exactly right to attract the right kind of business. So we've got a few things I'm going to mention here. The first is a result focused title. So again, we're focused on business results, not technical solutions, business benefits in the bio. So when we go through the profile in a second, you'll see that it's clearly laid out to convey to non-technical people what the business benefit that this person could bring. There's a clear service package. So showing exactly what services are offered and actually keeping that to, you know, three to five maximum rather than saying you are jack of all trades. You're just saying a few different use cases that you specialize in. And as we've seen before, a good portfolio as well. So we'll go to Chris's profile here and you can see immediately from Chris's profile that he's got a really clear headshot here. He's smiling and that really helps just convey that he's a really nice person to work with. In his headline, he's got this results or business focused or outcome focused title, which is customer journey automation expert. And he's also talks about his tools and his experience. He started with a really warm opening and then talked a lot about the business benefit or the business experience that he's got. But he's then very, made it very visually broken down all the business benefits that he could bring or his work could bring. So he could help you reduce your acquisition effort, build stronger relationships, reclaim your time or scale intelligently. So all of these things will be very relatable to business owners who are non-technical, who are often the people that are hiring for these roles. And then he's gone a step further by laying out some examples of things he's done in the past, lead generation and acquisition, making hyper-efficient sales processes, customer onboarding and management. And this all relates to his message around customer journey automation. And then as we mentioned, he's gone a step above and actually created a really clear portfolio and even gone to the extent of actually labeling out, if you look at these images, what the different nodes do at different stages, which tells me if I was his client that he's going to go a step above uh, explaining exactly what these do so that I could be able to take on this flow myself. So it gets campaign data, he's scraping company websites, and then it's writing a high personalized email sequence. Nothing, nothing super complicated. You can see the flow is very straightforward, but it's very clearly laid out so that a client could come in here and understand exactly what's happening and whether this experience is relevant to what they're hiring for. We've then got AI powered video generation and highly personalized outreach system as well. He's then gone a step above that and actually put in an introduction video, which I won't run through now, but it's something we cover in more detail and really brings your profile out so that you're able to more easily attract clients. And this profile, he was able to actually secure a client, his first client in AI automation, really quickly from inside the community itself. But he was only able to achieve this because he actually stuck with the next step, which is getting feedback. So this is something we cover inside the agency launchpad. But once you have a profile, you should follow Valdo's example here and actually request feedback from your peers, from ex-colleagues, from friends around how clear your Upwork profile is and how well it fits everything that we've spoken about so far. And if you're part of a community, often communities will give you personalized feedback, like a Loom video running through your profile, where you can get really hyper-specific on how to make your profile better. But ultimately, what you're trying to do is make a standout profile because there's a lot of people applying for the same jobs. You want to be the first on their list to hire.
So the fourth stage before we move on to the bonus stages is all about taking action quickly. Now, this might sound really obvious, but the people who get the clients the fastest are the ones that have devoted a few hours to getting everything we've spoken about so far done. So learning the 20% of AI automation concepts and the 20% of NAN that get you 80% of the way, building out a few automations that have clear, tangible business outputs and business value and building those into a profile and then making a standout profile that covers everything we just spoke about. But really, that doesn't matter if you're not going to take action quickly. So I want to emphasize the quickly here because when you're dealing with a platform like Upwork, which is a fantastic platform to get your first AI automation client, and the reason for that is covered elsewhere, but in summary, you're able to very quickly see that somebody has demand for a specific problem. And all you've got to do at this stage is convince them that you're the right person to solve that problem for them. So it goes without saying that if they're already looking for a job or are looking for somebody to hire for a job, they've scoped out that work already. They want somebody who's going to respond to them quickly. And actually most, I think 80% of Upwork roles are hired within the first 24 hours of the posting. So if you miss that 24 hour window, then the likelihood of you being hired for that role is significantly reduced. So there's certain ways that you can actually speed up your process of having to do that work. The first is actually monitoring jobs. So you could be every day, every hour monitoring those jobs on Upwork. Or for example, you could have something that automatically monitors those jobs for you. So in the agency launchpad, we have an Upwork scraper, which effectively pulls all of the jobs for different search terms on Upwork into a long list for you, allows you to have a summary view of all the jobs that meet your criteria. And actually we go a step further and allow you to generate a proposal that's ready to tweak, but it allows you to every hour or every half hour, see all of the latest jobs and get notified that those jobs have come in. And actually, if you're one of the first applicants to a given job within the first hour, for example, you are significantly better placed to land that job or at least get visibility from the person who's posted the job, which is actually 90% of the battle. As soon as they've seen your profile, you have a much greater chance. If you have a good profile and application and proposal, you are much more likely to be able to actually secure that client. And we've also got things for example, like an example of how to apply selectively. So because you're paying for every application you make on Upwork, you want to make sure that you're only applying to things that are actually relevant to you and also not do it where it's completely AI generated and doesn't sound authentic or human. We want to take the generated proposal based on your experience and apply a little bit of personalization. And an example here would be actually sending a Loom video with your application, running through the job details. And here's an example from the community of me doing exactly that and showing you how I tackle some of these processes and some of these roles today. And if you're looking for the ability to speed up this process for yourself, then head to school.com slash scrapes because inside the agency launchpad, we've got all of this infrastructure for you pre-done. So all you need to do is worry about actually applying for the jobs. And it means you can apply to around five to 10 per day in just an hour's time once you get into the rhythm of it. But I can't emphasize enough the importance of speed here and not missing that first 24 hour window. And if you follow all the steps we've talked about so far, you'll be in really good stead to actually land your first client. And then I've got a few bonus tips actually about building long standing relationships. So every single client that I've worked with has either continued to work with me or come back for more work in the future. And I really pride myself on actually building long standing relationships with my clients. And inside the school community, we have a specific module inside the agency launchpad all around a client success playbook, which is about how do you, once you've got a client discovery call booked in, actually nail that client discovery? How do you cre create proposals for them based on their scope of work? How do you go a step further once you actually got a client? How do you keep them happy? But also how do you get them set up in minutes. So if you're onboarding four to five clients a month, then you're going to need to speed up your process of actually onboarding them. So we answer all the questions of how to get your clients set up in minutes, as well as how to over deliver to your clients. So they keep coming back exactly like my clients have done. And then finally, we go a step further and talk about how to go from client number one to a full blown AI agency, including giving you all of the infrastructure inside your membership, like a landing page, email communication, booking system. And that's all encompassed in your membership price inside a go high level account, which would normally cost you $97 a month alone for just that. So you can basically copy paste everything from here from the point where you want to go from client number one to managing multiple clients and actually building out a full-blown profitable AI automation agency. Thanks so much for watching. If you like the content, please give it a like below. It really helps me reach a wider audience. Thanks so much.